Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because my Nespresso order just got here. So this is a little backstory on this crazy order, okay? So I ordered on a Saturday and on uh, Monday it showed up and it was the wrong order. It was addressed to me, but when they packed it, they got it mixed up with somebody else's. They told me that I could keep it. They're not accepting returns but it was pods for the original machine and I have the Virtu machine. So I couldn't do anything with them. And they were like 24 capsules. It was like $185 worth of coffee. I reached out to the lady whose order it was on Facebook and was like, hey, would you wanna like us send each other our normal orders? Espresso was going to resend us our orders, but I was like, why not get double the coffee for like free? So she wanted to as well. So we sent each other our orders. And so here is, my original order. The one that is coming from Nespresso is still not here. I'm really excited. I got my welcome gift. The mugs will not be in here because when I reached out to her, she was like, yeah, I can't use your pods either. But I was super excited about your mug. So I told her she could keep them. I didn't want to be stingy. And like, what's the fun in getting somebody else's order if you can't keep something? You know what I mean? I would have wanted to keep the mugs too if I would have got it. So sharing the love, even though I could have had four of those really nice mugs. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the box. Let's open this bad boy. I got one double espresso scurro, is that how you say it? So I've never tasted this one. This one's gonna be new to me. Actually, I have tasted it. It came in the sample pack that you get when you buy your machine Then I tasted it, but I don't remember. I'm going to do a taste test on this one. I'm excited. Also got Altizio. This one is an espresso. I don't know if I said that the scurro was um, a double espresso. Those are the ones I usually like are the double espresso is because I don't have to brew two of these, but there will be some times where like I'll have double espresso and I feel like I want something else. And so I like to have just like a single espresso shot on hand. That way I'm not getting too much caffeine because I am nursing. So I have to kind of watch it. Then I got an ice Leggero again. This one's just really light and I really like it. Two of the double espresso Chiaros. I had to get 10 sleeves in order to get my welcome gift. I couldn't decide like which one I wanted to get two of. I originally had Dolce, it says it's mild and smooth, sweet profile with malty toasted cereal notes. And I really like cereal notes. Originally I was gonna get two of these, but then I actually was watching some of her reviews and she said that she loves the um, Chiaro because it can go well with anything. And she mentioned how you can make the copycat version of the brown sugar shake and espresso from Starbucks. And that's my go-to drink when the pumpkin is not out. So I got this one, two of this one. It says it has wo woody, earthy aromas. I don't know, on paper. I think I would like Dolce better. So I'm gonna do taste tests with these. I got four boxes of the Bianco Leggero because it's my favorite. And also on the site, when I went to order, it said that it's about to be discontinued and they're bringing out a different one that's supposed to be similar. I'm sure I'll like the one that's gonna be similar, but I ordered four boxes because I was like, I, I wanna stock up. And now I will have eight boxes of this one when the other order gets here. So I'm actually really excited about that one. I love this one so, so much. If you are new to Nespresso and you love espressos, this one is just so good. It's part of their barista creations and it's just so smooth and not overpowering. I could literally drink it in one sip. Like I don't even savor it. It's just so good. I just, I can't get enough of it. I love it. So I got a Reviving Origins Uganda blend. So it's a level intensity six. Oh, and it's a Grand Lungo. Okay, good, good, good. I, I didn't really know which one they would do. I was hoping for either this one or the Papua New Guinea, but I'm excited to try this one. I'm only hoping that they put pumpkin in my like order that's coming from Nespresso, but I reordered that on Monday. I think it came out on like Tuesday or Wednesday, so I doubt they did. I probably got two of these, which is fine. I just don't know if I like them, and I really, really want pumpkin. I'm so sad that I just 
ordered all these pods and now pumpkin came out. For my samples, I got the Fortado and the Inizio. Inizio, is that how you say it? I think they're both Grand Longos. Yep. They're both Grand Longos. Nizio is floral and cereal, level intensity four, an easygoing blend of East African Arabicas, smooth with a juiciness gleaming through toasted cereal and floral notes. Fortado is uh, in full force, intense and full body, and it's level intensity eight, and since it's intense and full bodied, I don't think I'll like it either. I like the more medium blends, the one that are, they're super smooth, and that says the most intense coffee. <laughs> And it's Grand Lungo size comes thick bodied and full of cocoa and oak notes. Yeah, if that's intense, I definitely don't think I will enjoy that one, but I'm excited to try this one. I'll do a taste test on that one too. Hey guys, so my replacement order from Nespresso just got here. So it got here the day after I filmed the unboxing original order that got sent to the wrong lady, all of that. So I wanted to show you me opening the welcome kit since the welcome kit wasn't in my other order. Okay, so they sent me different samples. I was supposed to still get the Fortado and Anisio, but I'm guessing that they just weren't available by the time they packaged it. So I got Costa Rica, Master Origins, and then the Columbia, which I'm kind of bummed because I've had both of these before and I didn't like them. Like, I think I still have a Columbia. It is level five, it's a coffee. And then Costa Rica is a Gran Longo and it says malty and sweet. Maybe I just didn't like, I don't know. I just didn't think I enjoyed it, who knows. So I'm kind of bummed about that, but we'll see. We, I don't know if I'll end up doing a taste test on these because I, I know I didn't like Columbia. Okay, so here is the welcome kit. Ooh, let's see what's in it. Oh, oh no way! That is awesome. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm I'm bummed that I didn't get pumpkin. I really was hoping pumpkin was gonna be in here, but I love that they gave me a different one because they gave me the Uganda, and I got Il Cafe, which is a pretty sure it's an espresso yes it's an espresso ooh level 11 yay so I can do a taste test on that one so I'm excited I'm, I, I'm I don't know if I've ever tried it that is so I'm excited about that and then oh, look at these cups look how pretty they are Ugh, I can't wait to wash them and then brew coffee in here. This is probably what I'll do my taste test out of. So there's two of them. If you're looking for your welcome kit, definitely worth it. I would say to be able to be surprised with like a free sleeve of coffee. And then also these mugs are just, they're beautiful. And then it also comes with two, it says limited edition coasters, which celebrate unique coffee stories. Do I care about that? Not at all. Will I put those out? No. <laughs> if I have people over for coffee or something, I don't know, we're at the table or whatever, I'm, I might put them out to put their drinks on, but I'm not gonna display them. I don't think they're cute. So I also wanted to show you guys what it all looked like when I unboxed it. So this had two sleeves of Bianco Leggero. I've used a few of them, but that was two whole sleeves. And this drawer was just so unorganized. This is what I want to like, um, organize them how to be my pods but these are all uh, coffee pods for if people come over I'll probably still use the caramel cookie and custard pie but that's for when guests come over and then this is all the sleeves and this is the two sample packs oh, it was beautiful I think it was 22 sleeves plus two little sample packs so that's what it all looks like so that is all guys i'm super excited to do these taste tests i'm just really into nespresso right now so i'm gonna incorporate it into my channel because i want to and it's a fun hobby for me to drink coffee right now if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are excited about taste tests and more coffee and espresso content give it a thumbs up and let me know below which one you're excited for me to taste test the most. I will see you next time. Bye.